Mississippi is a great a great place, you know. Uh, a lot of open space and fresh air. <laughs> That's one of the upsides of uh, living in Mississippi. And of course, like everywhere else, there are there's a downside because Mississippi is so conservative, and a lot of people would say that Mississippians live in a box. You know, you can't just fix it from one side. You yeah. know, everyone has to come together, which is not really easy because we all like to stay in our boxes down here. Like there's that whole box of Mississippi, but inside that, that box there are other boxes, you know? So there are, you know, multiple boxes that people live in. So, I mean, it's different. It just depends on where you're at, the time and place. We love our boxes down here. We liked below the Mason-Dixon, there are certain ways people like to do things and they will continue to be done that way. We all know Mississippi is conservative. We all know, you know, some of the history behind Mississippi with, you know, racism and all of those things. I mean, those are facts. Those are things that aren't just going to go away overnight. We kind of just have to grow and deal with them and cope with them in our own ways. It's, it's, it's become a normal thing to just go, oh, well, that's another racial thing going on in Mississippi. And, and that's the scary thing is that people, that's all people sometimes hear about down here. They don't hear that there's great things going on down here. But when that's all that they know and that's all that people read about, I can't really be that upset because it is Mississippi. It is. But I perhaps don't understand, like, the, the, like the, the box the boxes, like sometimes, like the what's it, like the contemporary art when it's just like a box, and it's like all one color, and there's a box in the corner, and it's like, oh yeah, he placed that down there, and uh, the an angle to show show the differences between you know subjectivity and objectivity, and it's in a it's in a contrast because the color, and it's just like ah. Uh, I don't really know about all that. You know, they use that word urban all the time. Oh, well, the urban setting and the urban this. And I think I'd feel much better if they just say they don't like it because there's black people here. Um, but they're not going to say that. There are very few people this today that will say, I don't want to live there because there's black people there. I know gentrification is a problem. And there are bad bad things that come with gentrification. Like, for instance, Harlem is now like Hippieville and it's not the Harlem that it used to be. But to have a community or a city where there was an absence of concern, like people didn't even want to go back into the downtown and redo anything so that people would have an interest. I mean, there are problems in making it high so that black people move out and stuff like that. That's the problem, but they're not doing anything. It's ridiculous. And this is the only city I've been to where down the street from the Capitol building, you will have an open lot filled with just junk of, you know, a building that was, that stood 50 years ago, that's just deteriorated. And that's just crazy. It's like, is this post-apocalyptic? Because everything has sort of migrated to Madison. We used to have a Books a Million here, but now you can't get to the Books a Million because it's in Madison. So you have to go through Madison to get to the Books a Million and the Barnes and Noble and all of those kinds of things. So we don't have... They don't have to come, white people don't have to come into Jackson unless they really, really need to, but we have to get out to get to anything. So it's, it's almost like um, shooting fish in a barrel. You know, we're kind of stuck in this little place and we've been surrounded by people who don't really like Jackson, but they, they fear us, so they've moved out. It wasn't moving to Jackson that was awful. It was moving to Madison and Ridgeland and being disassociated from the culture of Jackson which I had not realized until I went to Millsaps. I love being in Jackson. I have gotten the opportunity to meet different people, um, different people that enjoy doing the same things that I do. You know, that's obviously a plus, you know. By me being an artist, it's always cool to interact with other artists. It only helps me, you know. Uh, we've, I, I feel it, it's, it's welcoming. And uh, I haven't felt like my security, my personal security, threatened here. So, in that sense, uh, I would I would tell uh, an outsider, don't be afraid to come to Jackson. The one amazing thing about Jackson is is its potential, you know, and of course that comes with the fact that it has a lot of room to grow. So, but um, it has some serious. 
has some serious room to grow and a capacity to go along with that potential, which comes along with the people. 